Hey guys, it's Georgie, and in today's news, we've got all your favorite funny women Chrissy Teigen, Emma Stone, Jennifer Lawrence, Anna Faris, me. No. Come on, guys, be kind. It was my birthday on Monday. Emma Stone reportedly has a new boyfriend, and it seems he's just as funny as her, which is just as well, because if one person has a sense of humor and the other doesn't, it just gets really awkward. According to Page Six, the actress is reportedly dating Dave McCary, a writer and director for Saturday Night Live. The two apparently met when she was hosting the show last year, and if it's true, it'd be the third rumored time that SNL features have led to romance, with Ben Affleck dating one of the show's producers and Scarlett Johansson supposedly dating Weekend Update's Colin Jost. So yeah, it seems like hosting SNL may very well be the next Tinder. In that case, please sign me up. I beg of you, I cannot bear to swipe through another 28 entrepreneurs at Self-Employed or personal trainers from the School of Hard Knocks. Chrissy Teigen has exposed the tough life of Hollywood assistants by tweeting a screenshot of a conversation with their own. And it sounds, uh, interesting. The first text to Chrissy reads, Been trying to find a big rolling one you wanted, but not finding many. Did find this with an official bingo caller. $350 for the evening. Not quite sure what she's exactly talking about. The picture looks like a bin, but I've never seen a bin gambling. But it's the last message, which is the icing on the cake, which reads, FYI, your nipple was fully out in one of your snaps. I deleted it. Incredible work, Chrissy's PA. But the model herself didn't let the nip slip situation go without an apology, as she explained in a Twitter video. I just want to apologize to everyone I know. I've let my friends down. I've let my family down. Um, I have nipples. It's not something I'm proud of. It's okay, Chrissy. We forgive you. Jennifer Lawrence has apologized to Anna Faris after a bunch of Chris Pratt cheating rumors surfaced about them. Rumors, not fact, but either way, not much fun for any parties involved. Anna and Chris split up back in August after eight years of marriage, causing a lot of heartbreak. For them, yeah, but also for the millions of us around the world who are convinced that the term couple goals was invented because of them. Now, when celebrities break up, it's obviously impossible that it happened on good terms and both people were on the same page. No, it's always a major scandal where there was definitely Definitely another terrible woman involved, shock, horror, blah, blah, blah. In their relationship, it was J-Law that people suspected, even though she's got a boyfriend already. But in Anna's new book, Unqualified, she says, Jennifer and I are really friendly, and she was apologetic even though she didn't need to be, because she hadn't done anything wrong. Right? Okay. Good. Glad we've cleared that up. What do you get when Liam Payne, Travis Scott, and French Montana walk into a room? The 2017 MTV EMA. Clean Bandit are also taking to the stage featuring a host of even bigger names such as Zara Larson, Sean Paul, Anne-Marie and Julia Michaels. Phew. Meanwhile, they're all going to be performing alongside previously announced acts Stormzy, Camille Cabello, Shawn Mendes, Demi Lovato, Kesha, The Killers and host Rita Ora. The 2017 EMAs are coming to screens near you on Sunday the 12th of November. So go make a nice little note of it in your iCal or your Gmail or your Live Laugh Love Diary or whatever organizational tool it is you probably don't use. That's all from me. See you next week, hopefully, if I don't get the job of Chrissy Teigen's assistant I've applied for. Worth a try.